Hello YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from The Moving Icon, and I am here with... Who am I with? I'm with... Hello! Yes, say hi everybody! <laughs> yes, I'm with Claudiane, which is our model today. And I'm here with Marjo, Marjorie. Hello. Or, yes, Marjorie is going to do a look which is sort of 1920s-ish. Glamour. Yes, glamour. There's going to be glass. There's going to be windows, yeah. liquids, liquids in a good sense. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Kevin. See you later, Tim. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hello? Not bad. I'll get back to you on the uh, thing. Yeah. Because I got a drone and I want to film you guys. Okay, so here I am. Waiting for models. They're not here yet, but they're about to be. And I'm going into the studio. Show you what my studio is here. Uh, I'm not going to bother you too much with the technical mumbo jumbo, but here it is. I used a 36-inch uh, beauty dish. I used my Canon 6D, mostly used the Canon 85 1.8 uh, millimeter uh, lens. It is very popular for portraiture, and it is excellent for the price. I used the 50 millimeter Sigma Art lens 1.4 and I used an X600 flash from Strobe Pro using a remote. Uh, and then at the end of the photo shoot, I also used my little trusty ring light, uh, which is continuous light shooting, which you can see in the back here. We use it for the makeup artist. Now, Claude Zian was approached by a model slash makeup artist that I deal with and like and love to work with. Her name is Marjorie Ardi. And uh, she just recently decided to go into the foray of makeup and uh, doing, uh, being an actual makeup artist. Uh, therefore, she needed projects to put together to make her portfolio better and better. And like every makeup artist, every photographer, she needs content to fill her site. She does a lot of movie shoots and stuff like that. So she spoke to a couple of actresses, uh, namely Claude Zian and Annabelle, two excellent, uh, beautiful girls. And uh, we did photo shoots with them. But today we're just going to talk about uh, Claude Zian's uh, photo shoot that she did uh, with us. So anyways, so we got together. Obviously, on this shoot, uh, Marjorie basically decided the look. Claude Zian has a very different look from the look Marjorie picked. Uh, she picked a sort of flapper, sort of uh, retro look. Marjorie's a big fan of that, and I think it's her specialty, so she wanted to sort of showcase it. And as you can see, the hair, the very extreme red lipstick look, the necklace and everything really was quite nice but at the same time we also went for a bit of a sort of conceptual thing as well and the conceptual thing was shooting through glass marjorie had seen the distortion of light through glass and she said maybe we can do some shots along those lines so we got together and marjorie picked up a couple of uh, uh, glasses and stuff like that and uh, any sort of glass type thing that would actually distort the light what I really want to talk about is the fact that this is one of the first shoots where I actually had sort of an order where someone said, okay, I want to shoot through glass and I want to have shots where you see light distorted through glass. So it was a challenge for me. It was a tough challenge and I think I delivered 
quite well. To say I delivered to the point that it was like perfect, no, that is not the case. I mean, I still got a lot of work to do, but I did work on distorting the light and making sure we shot her face through the glass uh, to get to some shots that were kind of cool. Here are the types of shots we did. We did these sort of concentrated shots looking forward. That was a lot of fun. And uh, Claudiane was a bit uneasy at the beginning, but in the end, she really got the hang of it. Uh, what's really kind of tough when you do these is shooting through glass is that you're taking a picture of a person. Therefore, the distortion of light can easily, easily make the person look uh, pretty bad. As you can see here, there's a little like a fringe up here and it makes her face look sort of off kilter. But I sort of like that, but you just gotta watch out. It can be really delicate and you can get some really distorted, weird looks. And uh, that's the challenge of the whole thing of shooting through glass and getting that distorted light through the glass. Uh, you gotta get that eye where it looks cool and at the same time, it doesn't look too weird. But these are the shots and uh, these I really liked with the eye popping to the side. It made like a third eye was quite cool especially when she closed her eyes all the close-ups were really nice i don't know if any one of you know the whole kame woman the woman that used to be on the kame uh, soap uh, not many of you are old enough to know that but this sort of gave that look of that classic woman from the 20s and 30s and i wanted to get that shot in as well the classic portrait shot and clodian did deliver uh, we took some shots of her full body i mean these are really nice i'm very happy with them uh, my focusing on that day was relatively good. Anyone who follows my channel knows that I'm not proud of my focusing at all. Uh, we also wanted to work with mirrors and do some reflections in the mirror to sort of get a second personality. Right behind here, something I'm probably going to have to Photoshop, is Marjorie. She's holding the mirror, but I do like these shots. They're kind of fun. The fact that we see the back of her head and we see another angle in the same portrait. Here's some straight portraits, by the way, using a ring light. Uh, by the way, I learned my lesson here on portraits. I have to watch out when I bring a lens close. What happens is the person tends to glance at the lens. Therefore, you get a little cross-eyed look. I'm starting to realize and know why people use 85 millimeters. They want to get away from the subject so that we don't get that cross-eyed look. When you use a 50, you have a tendency, or 50 or anything under 50, you have a tendency to get uh, a little cross-eyed look. And the reason why is that the lens is so close. So you're telling your model, well, concentrate on the lens. They concentrate on the lens and their eyes just cross a tiny bit. Uh, so I had to back off on those, but I really like these shots. The soft light. Uh, I've always liked ring lights. They're fun. They're easy. It's continuous light, so you can see your shot right off the bat. In general, I think the uh, photo shoot went relatively well. Uh, I'm always looking for ways to improve uh, what I've done. So check out the slideshow. They are retouched. So given the fact that they're retouched and to me, the final product, uh, you know, leave your comments below on what you think. This whole channel is about that, me growing in my photos and my capacity to take photos and take great photos. So I do welcome comments all the time. No, wait. Uh, hey. hey, we just finished a photo shoot with. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> so, did you guys have fun? Oh, yes. Yes, they did. Yes. So, it was kind of cool. We had fun. You guys, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality stuff. Check out B uh, If you like this video, click the thumbs up at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the rest. Wait, I'll get it. I'll get it. And uh, to keep in cahoots with what I do, subscribe and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from now.